If you're using Elemental, you'll be aware of the menu cart widget. You know this one over here. You click it and it brings over your items, which are just above me at the moment. And you can obviously get rid of items, jump to the cart, the checkout, all of that. But what if you don't want to use this particular widget and you can remove the icon, change the icon, mess around with the typography? What if you actually want to do it within some text? So I have over here, if you need to see the cart, then click me. I'm going to click the word, click me, and the cart has now appeared. How did I do that? First, I'm going to show you how I got it to work with the click me. But I'm going to show you how I got it to work in between text. And it is really, really simple and easy to do. Let's start from scratch. We're going to go over here and I'm going to type in menu cart. And we're just going to dump that in. There is the menu cart. And for anyone that's not familiar with it, you can have bubble played. You can change the style of it. You can even change the icons you have. I'm actually going to go for none. OK, because I don't want to see no icons there. I don't want to even see the subtotal. And I'm just going to hit left align, even though it doesn't really make any difference. Here's the things you need to do. You need to make sure the icon is set to custom. And as soon as you do that, you then want to hit none to get rid of it. OK, so no icon, no items indicator. And what you get is a box like this. This is the important bit. That box or that what sits within those borders is what activates the menu cart. So if I was to go over here right now and I click there, you're going to see the menu cart. Okay. By the way, please ignore the fact that the font's all grayed out because I haven't set the styling on that, but you get the gist of that. If you want to mess around though with how do items look when they appear on page, then you would go here and adjust the cart. But I'm just working on the menu icon. Now I'm going to go to the container that contains this and I'm going to set this to be a row like that. I'm then going to go over to my menu cart. OK, I'm going to go to custom CSS and I'm going to drop in this bit of code. Select all uh, with colon colon before content click me and it now puts the word click me. And you'll notice there's a full stop as well. Um, that's because I'm just using the same terminology I used it. If you want, you can get rid of the full stop. So it just says click me and whatever you type here, they are the words that appear. This is still the menu cart widget. What we've done is added in some words. Now, here's a little bit of a problem with this methodology. The menu cart or the bit where you're actually going to click and trigger it to appear goes and sits below. So we're going to have to do a little bit of modification here. First thing I'm going to do is make the width of this match the length of the word click me. So I'm going to go to my width and I'm going to set this to be pixel. If you do percentage and your resolution changes, it's going to get a little bit messed up. So I'm now just going to increase this. We get to about 67, so it's just slightly outside of it, but that's about right. Then I'm going to go to my layout again uh, uh, for the whole menu cart, because remember the text and the, that little bit triggery bit, it's all within the same widget. I'm now going to decrease my top margin just to bring it over. And again, you might look at this and go, well, that's a bit fiddly. Trust me, this works. I've gone for minus 30. However, the box intersects the word me. So what we need to do is go to the style, go to the padding. It's all here for you. As soon as you set it to zero, that entire click area, you can't see it has become a tiny dot. So once you've zeroed everything out, just go and pop in some values like 10. You go. So I've gone for 10 on the top. 64 on the right and 10 on the bottom. Yeah, I know it's a little bit fiddly, but it's not that difficult to do. And the last thing I'm going to do now is get rid of that border. So I'm going to go to my border color. You can either give it a color or just set it to be fully transparent and make sure you do the same for the hover. Otherwise, it will reappear when you hover. Let's just do that. Now, when I hit update and we view this and I click here now, the menu cart appears. Can you see that? It, it's now working on the text. But how do we put text before and after? This is really, really simple. All I'm going to do is add in a text editor. Well, we, we'll do it twice. Well, I'll do it once and I'll duplicate it. I'm going to change this to say, added in a bit of text. There's a space after the symbol. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to set this to be custom. I'm going to move it to be before the menu cart like that. Now you will notice there's a bit of spacing. So I'm going to go to my container, which is already set as a row. I'm going to get rid of the gap. Um, so that now they are next door to one another. You could use left margin as well. Just bear in mind, though, that as your resolution changes, it's far easier to do it like this, where the gap between your elements is set to zero, and then it will just start to wrap. Well, you, you know what I mean when it starts to wrap around. In fact, let me just put wrap on there. Hit flex start there. So it'll all 
move around depending on the resolution of your screen. Right, so go and have a look at the cart. We've got click me and then I'm gonna duplicate this, move it after the menu cart, go to my custom CSS and just add in a full stop. Now there is one little thing you still need to do and I'm gonna see if you can spot this. Can you see the alignment is not spot on there? The text either side of the menu cart is slightly higher. This is really simple and easy to sort out. I'm just gonna go and drop in one pixel over there and for the second one or the text that was at the beginning, I'm just gonna add it in again like that. Just one pixel, that's all I need to do. And now if I click this, the menu cart appears. So if you have not been a fan of just using that, because maybe you're gonna stick it in your menu somewhere or uh, inside of your header, and you wanna be using text, or you're gonna have a statement somewhere, and you wanna kinda of entwine or build it in, this is a pretty simple, easy approach to do. And for anyone that was unsure, again, let me just show you the CSS. Basically all it is, really simple and easy to do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing.